Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. Traditional websites have always scrolled vertically, but today we're going to break the mold and teach you how to create a horizontal scrolling website. In this advanced tips and tricks tutorial, we'll first start with this vertically designed website for a videographer and director. We'll then apply some custom CSS code, which will convert it to scroll horizontally instead. After this, we'll then add some custom JavaScript using the custom code feature, which will allow for smoother effects, as well as giving constraints for our responsive views. We'll be using Elementor Pro to create this website, and you will require an intermediate level of knowledge using Elementor to follow along with this tutorial. You will need to know how to create page templates and how to make adjustments using responsive mode. If you need to brush up on any of these aspects, we've provided some links to our recommendations in the description of this video. So if you're ready, let's get started. We'll start by creating a new page in the Elementor Editor, and we'll add in our pre-made template first of all. You can create a template from scratch, or click here and add a template from the library. In our case, we'll use a custom template, and insert it. In our template, the navigation and logo are fixed to the left-hand side, and we also need to ensure that our main content fills the entire height of the screen. We're going to use the Elementor Canvas page layout, which provides a blank canvas for us to work with, meaning the theme's header and footer will not show. We'll change this by selecting the gear icon, and switch the page layout to Elementor Canvas. Our next step is to hide our fixed header so that it's easier for us to navigate through our design and make the necessary changes required. Click here to open the navigator or type Command or Control I, and then select the icon next to the header section to hide it. We'll now close the navigator and scroll down to preview our currently vertically stacked sections. Let's create a new section from scratch to better understand how to set up each section for horizontal use. Add a new two column section. For this design, we're going to set our section to full width and remove the column gap to avoid unnecessary spaces and minimum height to 100 VH to ensure that it fills the entire height of the screen. Let's now populate the first column. Drop a heading widget in and add your text. Now add the text editor widget, and add your content. Change the alignment, and add some padding to the column. Next we'll populate the second column. We'll add in an image widget, and then choose our image from the media library. Set the height, object fit, and then amend the width for the column. Now that our section is ready for horizontal use, let's see how to create a horizontal layout. We're going to set the display of our main container of the sections, which is dot elementor hyphen section hyphen wrap as inline flex. This will position each section next to each other rather than vertically stacking them downwards. Then we'll set each section's width to 100 VW to ensure that they take up all of the space in the viewport. Please note that if you try to scroll using a mouse, this might not work for you yet, but we'll fix this very soon. Open the settings. Open the advanced tab. And in the custom CSS area, we're going to type the following. We'll first add the class name, type a dot followed by elementor, hyphen, section, hyphen, wrap and then open the curly brackets. Now type display colon inline hyphen flex semicolon and then close the curly brackets. Please note that all custom code used in this tutorial is provided for you in the description below. As you can see, our sections are now positioned side by side rather than on top of each other. Next, we'll add the following CSS to ensure each section fills the width of the viewport. Type the selector dot elementor hyphen section, followed by opening the curly brackets. Then type width colon 100 VW semicolon. 
and then close the curly brackets. Let's now re-enable the header. For sections like this one, you might want to give a custom width. We can easily do this by giving our section a class name. And then open up the page settings once again. And add the following CSS to ensure our header remains the same size. Type a dot, custom, hyphen width, open the curly brackets, width, colon, 100 pixels, semicolon, and close the curly brackets. OK, we've made great progress so far, and now we'll see what happens on other devices. Open responsive mode, and then select the tablet view. We would like the horizontal layout to be active only on the desktop, so we'll need to create a media query. A media query allows us to control specific aspects of the page on different screen sizes. Now in the custom CSS area, located in the page settings, we'll add the following media query. This one tells the browser that if a screen size is 768 pixels or less, in other words tablet and mobile, then it should display each section vertically instead of horizontally. With this particular design, it provides a better user experience for the website to work this way. Now that we've configured our design to work for all devices, it's time to add some custom JavaScript to further ensure that all of our website visitors receive a flawless experience. The method we've currently used with CSS works great if we scroll horizontally, but if a user is using a mouse wheel which only scrolls vertically, it could produce some unwanted results. Save this design by clicking Update. Now let's type Command or Control E to open the Elementor Finder. Type Dashboard and hold Shift and Select to open the dashboard in a new tab. Navigate your way to Elementor, Custom Code, and then select Add New. Name your file. Select its location. And then add in your custom JavaScript. As mentioned, you'll find all custom code in the video description. Set the display conditions. And then publish your changes. With this JavaScript code, we've created a function where vertical scroll movement is adapted into horizontal scroll movement and applied this function only when the screen size is bigger than or equal to 770 pixels. If we preview what we've created so far, we can see some overscroll behaviours. So let's jump back into the editor and fix this. Open the custom CSS in the settings area and add the following CSS above our media query to control these behaviours. Save your changes, reload the website, and as you can see, our overscroll behaviours have disappeared and our horizontal scrolling website is now complete. Now you may be wondering, what if we want to add a new section to the web page or delete a section? There is a very simple way to disable this layout in the editor, which will allow us to work in a traditional vertical layout format. This design is missing a contact section, so let's add one together. First we're going to go back to the custom CSS in the page settings area. Above all of the code that we've previously written for the horizontal scroll, type slash star to disable the horizontal layout. To close the comment, Type star slash again at the end of the code that you would like to disable. As you can see, all of the code that is within this declaration has turned green, which means that it's been commented out. In this state, any code written between will not have any effect on the web page. As you can see, our layout is now back to a vertical format. Once you are done, go back to the page settings. Custom CSS, and delete the slash star. And as you can see, our code has returned to its original colour, indicating that it's now working. Click Update, and Preview. And as you can see, our new section has blended well with the existing design on the horizontal layout. Perfect! Today we learned how to change a vertical layout into a horizontal one using CSS and JavaScript. 
we learnt how to adjust the sections accordingly and change the scroll behaviours. Horizontal scrolling websites really allow us to create some out-of-the-box designs and push the boundaries of just what's possible when using Elementor to create your website projects. Share your horizontal scrolling websites with us and feel free to ask any questions that you may have in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing tips and tricks tutorials.